Hi all, my name is Mess Barnkop from Kaiser Power Electronics. This is part 8 of the dual resonant solid state Tesla coil 6th channel show controller build. We are building the last panel missing down here. Now I'm saying down here, but that's actually on the upside because it's upside down. But that will be this panel. So what is this? This is the power supply. And for the power supply for this, I want two things to happen. I want to be completely isolated as I have gone through a lot of difficulties uh, for the safety part at least, to stay optically isolated from the Tesla coil along with the drive signal, which is also optically isolated. So I want to run this on battery. For this I have just purchased a 20,000 milliamp hours um, power bank. I got a uh, USB tester to check out my um, power draw when uh, running on a battery. I got some uh, filter for 230 volt input. Got a uh, power supply, 5 volt DC for the input, some uh, USB plugs from a yeah, car accessory shop. And there is then various uh, USB cables and such uh, to put into the chain. So let's take a look at the drawing and the parts in a close up. The plan is just going to be a hand drawn sketch here. I have a 230 volt AC input, which is uh, this plug with filter, which will go to a small mean well 5 volt DC power supply. Then we will have a switch sitting here, and that is going to switch between the power bank and the um, 5 volt DC power supply. Then I go through uh, one of these uh, USB meters, set that here, have some uh, USB outputs at the front of the panel, and all that goes through some USB wires down to the main switch that we saw in part 7. Now I also have an old USB lamp that I will use, uh, good when operating the whole controller in darkness, so that's another good point to use this, and also charge my phone or something like that. So uh, for the panel itself, the uh, power bank is not going to fit anywhere on this, that's just going at the bottom of the controller. But here I want to drill a few holes for the USB cables to go through, and then mount the um, small USB meter with some Velcro at the front here. I'm not going to drill uh, or make a big hole just to view this through here, because the buttons to operate sit here at the sides and also the output ports for the other types. And I also just want to be able to yeah, take this out or switch it for something else. But the small power supply, that can, with these two holes, sit somewhere on the back side along with the input pin here. And then just have the switch on the 5 volt side somewhere. So yeah, that's the plan. Fairly quick job, now consists of a 230 volt AC in, we have the power supply behind here, we have the USB meter, we can switch between battery and 230 volt AC, and a USB out. So right now I'm just charging my phone, and of course when I cut the data lines there is no information about charge current from the USB devices. So that's a bit of a bummer, because I actually hoped to be able to see the current draw. Um, but yeah, I can add my small lamp here, so that's uh, perfect and still does what I need. Now the back side, not much to see here, power supply and some wire harnessing. Um, we can put in the power, power bank here, so that's the cable here. And right now we, we're of course running on 230 volt AC and I can just switch to a battery 
and I did not do that fast enough, so it did actually turn off again. So if I do it fast, it won't shut down, and we can actually see the difference between 5 volt from the power supply and 4.9 from the battery bank. So yeah, let's get it in the suitcase. The power panel is finally in. I'm sporting a nice cup of coffee in the high voltage mug. So uh, the panel's done, 230 volt AC in. We have the battery meter, we have the USB out, and we have the power selector. So right now we can switch to battery power. We will get some power up there. Now if I want to uh, switch the power on, I have to insert one key and we can start the safety. So now we have a output to the safety box, so you can go to that and reset it right now. Now I would like to uh, maybe just test the um, outputs. I would have to use another key for that. Uh, and that is in order to yeah just make people able to play with it without having the outputs turned on. And yeah, right now they are just running some different sequences on all six outputs and speakers. The DR SSTC show controller for six coils are finally finished. It's finally done. It's over. It's been two years of building and finding solutions. And I just want to send a huge thanks to Prof9DC, Dan on HighVoltageForm.net, and also Max Soitberg who built the Synthoraptor. And then also Antoine, who has lately built a software to control the Synthoraptor with. So all this, this is only possible because of the great help and people sharing their knowledge on HighVoltageForum.net. So I'm just grateful and I'm happy this is done and I can start using it and start the next project, which could probably be building six Tesla coils. So until next time, see ya.